I do this interview in crappy Russian accent, okay? No problem. What do we want to sit here today? Ah, sh that was horrible. Welcome to Local Fish Store World Travel. Today, we visit California's amazing aquariums and reefs. Amazing Aquariums is another unique store. The store is made up entirely of several beautiful display tanks. The store owner was nice enough to narrate and take us on a late night tour of this creative local fish store after we finished up things at Reefapalooza day two. Light just turned off. I was gonna show you guys these cool Tahitian Maximas, but my lights are on timers and the metal highlights and they literally just turned off as you guys were gonna see the, the clams. Very cool farm raised Tahitian Maximas. Uh, these are cool little purple polyp ORA styloporas that uh, farm raised, very pretty, easy to keep. I forgot this one's dark too. Real quick, you can see these cool palitho grandies. This ganiopora here is pretty interesting. It is a tank raised Ganyapora. I got it when it was maybe a third of the size. Um, very cool piece, interesting. It grows, it doesn't die like all the other Ganyas do. All right, these are the tank raised fungias. Generally speaking, if a uh, fungia is gonna die in a tank, not every time, but lots of times it will shoot out little babies. Um, so on each of these little clusters are probably 10 to 15 little baby fungias and all these in this little plastic thing are uh, baby fungias. More of the palitho grandies, cool green ones. Then you have your more traditional cinnamon polyps which are also really big. These are pretty interesting mushrooms here. Lots of cool little colors in them. Boom, there goes another Another light. This is Mr. Uh, Cash Money Clown, and it's not—it's not, it's not a, a tank race one. It's actually a wild caught one from the Solomon Islands. It just had a natural like dollar sign sitting on it. Dude, that is awesome. We tweeted a picture of it to Floyd Mayweather. Oh, did you? Floyd Mayweather, like they buy this fish for hundred k. Hundred. Dude, the Adrian respond, huh? No, my Ben uh, from Marine Depot tweeted him. Well, I think Greg actually tweeted uh, tweeted a picture of him. Bunch of interesting Rhodactus, nice orange ones. Orange, purple with like orangish edges. Uh, man, we should have did this a little earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. All the damn <laughs> lights are gone. Uh, what do we got here? It's SPS tank. Some cool blue suspicularia in the back. A nice fan. Yeah, that sea fan is from Belize. It's actually photosynthetic, so it grows without, you know, feedings or. Totally uh, dependent on light. Just light only. Cool blue scomosa clams. How big do these normally get? Uh, I mean, it'll take a while, but they could get up to two feet in captivity. Maybe in about six to eight years. If you come around here, these are some pretty interesting uh, zoanthids. They're almost like a yellowish, like yellowishy green color. They're interesting. Very cool. And those are just under, you know, regular halides and T5s. They're not under any weird LEDs or anything like that. So how do you feel about the halides and T5s and LED? Look at you battle. Getting questions out of me. I love it. <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> uh, you know, LEDs are okay. A lot of people experience coral bleaching with them. 
Uh, I'm just, you know, a little more old school, and I'm just sticking to halides and, uh, and T5s. Um, I'm sure LEDs are going to be awesome, you know, and a lot of them actually are getting there, like the Hydras and the Radeon Pros that have the, the UV spectrum in there. I think those are a little more promising than some of the initial LEDs that came out. Um, so I might upgrade to LEDs one day. I just, I'm kind of, I don't know, too, too nervous to do it right now with, with all these corals. This is a pretty old school tank, some Palau Neptia, AKA Cinellaria with a pair of uh, Vanuatu Clarkies. There's a couple leopard wrasses in here too, but they're all asleep because it's like 6.30 or something like that right now. Thomas is, Thomas is holding me hostage at my own shop. What do we got here? I, I uh, just left Reefer Palooza. What do we got here? Uh, you see another we, event. We got a pretty big elegance coral from Australia. This one I've had for about a year or so. So I'm hoping it stays alive and it doesn't just die like all the damn elegance corals always do. Uh, so it's kind of a cool piece. It's been. Is that one for sale or is that one just one year? I'm just pieces? honestly kind of experimenting with that guy, holding him and seeing how he does. Maybe I'll sell him one day. Yeah, there's a, an enemy crab in there. It's been there for about four years inside that same uh, red carpet. Those okay. clowns spawn pretty regularly. This actually, this coral right here that looks like a torch coral, it's actually, actually a heliophangia, a colony of it. There's about four baby heliophangias on there. Came out of Darwin, Australia. Very cool piece. You don't see heliophangias growing in colonies too often. They're usually just solitary, you know, single corals that are laying on the sand. This is a cool little Recordia island with a nice green uh, Kenya tree. These are some really cool uh, rock anemones. I like that one a lot with the uh, yellowish, pinkish, orange center. That one got covered with sand. Some little bastard threw sand over it, but it's, it's really cool. It's pink with the green center. Those blastos are pretty interesting. Red with like a weird grayish uh, edge around it. It's just a softy tank. Nothing too crazy, but simple. And last but not least, uh, this is a little mangrove tank. I just made some rocks coming out of the water to kind of give it an island beach look to it. Super simple, nothing too crazy in it. Uh, I might put a waterfall, put a little pump hidden behind there and have like a little waterfall action going on. But I've been too lazy to do it. Busy. No, lazy. <laughs> I, I haven't been busy. I'm never busy. I'm just lazy. All right, well, thank you very much. We'll take one more look at the cash money clownfish. Really like that guy. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, this is The Ultimate Hobby. This is the ultimate hobby, the ultimate hobby.